it's a week past the beginning of the readathon, but this is when I'm starting. I actually started reading a book yesterday. Um, it's currently the 10th, I think, yeah, the 10th of September, so I'm a little bit behind, but it's fine. I started reading a book called My Big Fake Wedding, which is what I'm going to use for the mood read. I'm not liking it right now at all. Um, I actually kind of hate it, but I'm going to push through and finish it. I'm halfway through. Um, yeah, I'm not liking it at all. I'm literally making a list of all the references so far, and I've counted. There's 50 references so far in the 150 pages I've read. Horrifying. Anyways, after that, I was thinking of reading Across the Green Grass Fields by Seanan McGuire, which is for the less than 300 pages prompt. But yeah, I'm gonna go get to the other book that I'm hating. Um, hopefully finish it today. Yeah, that was a boring intro to this video. One shift later. Hello. I'm once again the stupid person that I am, and it's halfway through the month and I have not finished a singular book for this readathon. Um, I've started this though, I've read 50 pages, and this is the smallest book I have. Why am I struggling so hard with readathons? I don't know. So, because clearly I'm not in a reading mood, um, I decided that since I hated these bookshelves so much because I, if you saw my last vlog, I reorganized them and hated it because it's in alphabetical order and I dislike that. The ones turned around are the ones that I haven't read yet but I think I'm gonna read soon, that's why they're there. Um, and they're also divided by read and unread at the bottom, which I'm not going to show because it's horrifying how much I have not read. The plan is to reorganize these because I'm one, bored, two, doing anything I can to not fucking read because I'm stupid, and three, I really hate looking at them. Yeah, so I don't even know how I'm going to organize. I also, I have a problem, which is most of the time I'm not 100% sure whether it's a genre or not, because like, if I look at this series, to me that's like, it's fantasy, but it's also sci-fi, right? Because it's in space. Or is sci-fi just our world, but in the future? I'm confused. I don't know, so it's gonna go how it's gonna go, but yeah. Um, this is probably gonna be the only interesting part of this vlog, because I doubt I'm gonna fucking read. I took a break, um, I went to eat something because I haven't eaten lunch today. Now I have, but before, like three seconds ago, I hadn't, so. And it's like three in the afternoon. So, yeah, we're now gonna tackle this. I don't know what that was, but whatever. We're gonna think together. Um, I think I'm just gonna have all of the um, books that I own not divided by read and unread because I literally do not care. Um, about that that much because I don't have space and even though like it's kind of fun to see which ones I have not read it's also kind of stressful <laughs> we're gonna remove the bottom TBR vibes because it's giving me stress and then also as I said before I have the little book cart the cart um, it's looking really shit right now because I can't be bothered to like fix it every time that I change it um but I'm gonna do that now and I'm gonna remove the books that are there by the side somewhere else hopefully like stored inside like a closet um and I'm gonna start removing some books that I know for sure that I'm going to unhaul by the end of the year because if you don't know usually by the end of the year I make an unhaul video. I already know that I have around like 20 books that I want to unhaul already, which is bad. So I will film me getting the books that I want to unhaul out of the bookshelves. And then after that, I will not film and just sort the books into whatever piles by myself. Because I feel like if I do that while filming, I'm gonna be stressed. And then after that, I will talk to you. I'm gonna do that until it's dark outside, and then after that, I will read because I like to read when it's dark. Is that normal? Probably. So, yeah, 
let's remove the books that I don't like anymore. We're gonna get a little bit closer and raise this up. I look so stupid because my head is here, but I'm sorry for everyone that's a Rick Riordan fan, but I literally am not. So I'm gonna be unhauling all of the Rick Riordan books I own, I think. That's the plan. I don't know. I don't think I'm ever gonna reread them. And I don't even feel like reading the last book in the Heroes of Olympus, so that's a problem. Um, and I'm 100% not gonna read um, Magnus Chase. So, we're deleting them from my bookshelves. I might end up reading this, but... Maybe in like a 24 hour readathon reading sequels that I don't want to read kind of vibes. I forgot on the top are these books, which are the three DNS so far this year and I'm never gonna read this. I hated Shadow and Bone and I'm not interested. So yeah, goodbye. Oh my God, look at how much space I have on the top of my bookshelf now. Shook it. Gagged, gooped, and pooped. That. Don't want these. And these. And I honestly think that's it. So. Yeah, that was pretty productive. Look at all the books that I want to unhaul. The ones on my window, like, ledge thing. You can't see because of the lighting. Doesn't matter. It's a lot. I'm going to count them. 27 already. And it's not even the 100% end of the year. So I'm kind of scared, but kind of content because that makes me feel better. Hello. It's two hours later. Maybe you can tell, maybe not. Um, this is what it looks like so far. Um... I decided to not pile it on the floor because otherwise I could not walk. And my room is not the biggest, so... Here is how I've divided stuff, okay? I'm not done, but we're gonna start because this is ugly. So, adult fantasy. More adult fantasy plus kind of new adult ambiguous YA, aka Nevernight. Then we have YA, YA, YA series that are finished and I have all of them if that makes sense I haven't finished reading but they're completed and I own all of them that is first we have Shadow and Bone which is a series I finished but don't own the rest because I hated them and then we have this which is a potential I might read then these are 100% I'm going to continue the series I just don't own it this one is more series that I haven't started, but I don't own the whole thing. And then I have I'm Not Continuing. Then we have just standalones here, because, yeah, makes sense, I think. I don't know. Let's ignore these books that are here. I just, I was scared of the bookshelves falling on me. So then we have um, adult and YA thriller mysteries. Then we have classics for now. This is just here again because I thought the thing was going to fall on me if I didn't like balance the weight. And then at the bottom is a clusterfuck. It's just YA romance or contemporary books that continues on to here and then this is adult. I didn't even touch my book cart. This is a weird angle. And I still have a shit ton of books on my bed. But that's because it's mostly things that I know for sure and then behind there behind my bed is middle grade, which is going to be on top of my bookshelf, so I'm not doing that right now, again, because I think I'm going to die. I'm going to start with organizing the bottom because of the weight balance.
finally finished. I prefer this so much more. I still feel like I'm gonna like tweak it later on, but for now, I love it. Except for this stack, um, but it is what it is. But so far, this is what it looks like. I'll give you a pan of the whole shelf so you can see what it looks like. Um, but yeah, these are my shelves now. Much better than before. Holy mother of shite. I still need to organize my book cart, but that's uninteresting. Um, yeah, I'm now sweating, but I'm very content with my shelves. So, yeah, I'm not gonna actually read because this is a readathon. Um, I have some news kind of. I don't know what day it is. I think it's the 19th. It's Monday. I don't know. Um, and the other day I finished Across the Green Grass Fields. I did not like it. I gave it a two star. I just, nothing happens in this. None of the other cast from the first five books appear in this. I think it's because Reagan, which is the main character, is probably gonna appear in um, the seventh book. I dropped something, um, which I'm not gonna read right now because this just put me out of that mood. I didn't, I don't know, I didn't like it. I feel like this is a horse girl kind of um, book and that's not me. <laughs> so yeah, I finished this and this was for the first roll, which was a book under 300 pages. I finished that one. So we finished two prompts so far. And then I've started... Okay. Then I've started an arc, which has nothing to do with this readathon. Um, but I have like a few days to finish it, so I needed to get to it now. Um, I'm not liking it. It's called the... It's called Imperfect Angel. Um, it's not good. The main character is annoying and so is the male lead. They're both annoying and stupid and just bad. But it's an arc so I have to read it. Technically. Um, not if I just really hate it, but... Whatever. I'm reading it. Um, yeah. It's about a woman who inherits the key to lock the gates of hell, something like that, and a Nephilim who has to protect her, something stupid. Pretty terrible, but it is what it is. Then after that, I think I have to read another arc that I have like two weeks to read, just so I can get it out of the way and not stress myself. It's called The One That Got Away. Don't remember what it's about, but hopefully it's better than the one I'm currently reading. And then after that, finally, I can get to The Kiss of Deception, which is the first book in the Remnant Chronicles. Um, this one is for the last role, which was to read a fantasy book. I need to read all three of these books. Um, so yeah, I just feel like I need to get to this um, sooner rather than later because the seri this series is like big. The last book is over 600 pages and I want to annotate them. Which maybe is not a good idea. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'll start with this or I will read the other two fantasy books first and the contemporary romance. I feel like that's dangerous though. We'll see, but for now I'm reading arcs that I'm not really loving, sadly. That's the update for right now. Once again, I'm halfway through the month and I'm in deep shit. Many unbearable hours later. I have not read a lot. Um, there's a reason though. As, I don't know if, I don't remember what I've said because it was a while ago, but I was reading this book called Imperfect Angel. It looks like this, for those who are interested. Um, and it was so bad. It is the worst book officially of the year for me. I give it a one star, which I only give to the worst of the worst. Um, because I really hated this. It gave me a reading slump, low-key. Um, it was just hard to get through. I just did not like it. The main character is so annoying. I want to fight that bitch. Finally finished that, and I realized I'm never going to get to the books that I actually planned on reading. And I think I'm going to cheat and change the books that I said I was going to read into other books. Which I do a lot, so it's fine. I have a piece of paper with all the prompts that I have. So... Small book we've already completed, which was the Wayward Children book, Across Green 
across green grass fields. That's a tongue twister for somebody with a lisp. The second one was a book set or published since 2020. Um, and for that, I've, I had chosen Second Chance, no, Second First Impressions. But I'm going to change it to another arc because I have nine days to read it. I'm so behind because of this goddamn book. Anyways, I have nine days to read it and it's called The One That Got Away. Um, which is about a um, second chance romance, I'm pretty sure. Something like that. Um, these two people date, but then they break up for some reason. And then 20 years later, they meet again. Something like that. I don't know. It sounded interesting when I asked for it. So hopefully it's better than Imperfect Angel because otherwise I will smash something. Then we have the letter generator, which is still Fortuna Sworn, which I want to start today. I'm gonna start it today because I need to read something good and I hope that this is good. I have a feeling this, I don't know. I have a feeling that this will be good, hopefully, and if it isn't, I will cry. Then we have Mood Read, which I assigned to the big, the first book that I read that was an arc, which is Big Fake Wedding, which I also hated, which is great for my arc track record, but. Then we have Winter, which is still the um, book called Girls Made of Snow and Glass. Um, I hope to get to it, but we'll see what happens. There's still seven days, right? January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September. No. Yes, seven days. And the last one is fantasy, and I'm just gonna sign Imperfect Angel to that because even though it's more paranormal romance, it's still kind of fantasy because there's demons and stuff like that, so I say it counts. So I'm changing the last poem to that, so I'm not reading the Remnant Chronicles just yet, even though I really wanted to, but they're big books and I'm stressed and I want to finish this readathon. <laughs> so hopefully I can read a big chunk of this today and then maybe also start the arc. That would be ideal. That was the update. I'm now gonna go get pizza because it's Friday. Hi besties. Um, I broke a nail today. It looks horrifying, but I'm here to tell you that I'm struggling a lot. I'm on the struggle bus. Um, it's not fun. Today is the 27th. I have today plus three days, right? Yes. Math is hard today too. To read three books. So it is the arc that I'm currently reading. I'm 20% in. I did not realize that it was about a 40 year old woman, but we're vibing. So far it's okay. It's not the worst thing ever, so it's fine. It's just a little weird, but whatever. And then I need to get to this, which I'm excited about, but I have five days to finish the arc. And then I have the uh, Girls Made of Snow and Glass to read. Hopefully I can do all of that before October. Even though I technically don't need to, I want to because I am an Aries and I love competition and it, this feels like a competition and I don't like losing. Also, I don't know anything about astrology. I just know that Aries is a competitive thing. Um, if anyone knows anything about astrology, just don't come at me. <laughs> so. My plan is, today, I go full throttle, even though I don't want to read this book right now, and finish the arc. We do that. Then, tomorrow, I read this whole thing. Because this has average sized letters, looks fun, is under 300 pages, fun and fresh, right? But then we have... Girls Made of Snow and Glass. Ignore my um, chair. It's that kind of chair where you just dump shit on it. That's the chair. Um, Girls Made of Snow and Glass has the smallest writing ever and is around 450 pages, I think. So that's gonna be a struggle. And I feel like I need two days for that. That is the plan. I'm going to force myself to do that, even though I have other stuff to do. Today, I'm gonna focus on this. Yeah, okay. So yeah, I'm gonna go do whatever it is and read and hopefully not hate this book for once. I've been hating books a lot recently. I need something good. I don't know what, but I need something new, something good, something fresh, something five stars. That would be great. I need a five star book right now because I'm miserable. Bye!
If I sound sick, it's because I kind of am. I literally woke up like this, so I can't really fix it. I don't know, whatever. It is the end of Bookopoly, aka it's October now. And although I said I was going to try and read Fortuna, I didn't. And I didn't even try to read uh, the girl Girls Made of Snow and Glass, unfortunately. I really wanted to, but I didn't get to it, so. So yeah, amazing, amazing reading time, in my opinion. Super fun, new favorites, clearly. Love them. I love this readathon. I always have fun, no matter what, but like consistently only reading shit books is not really that fun so maybe i need to really consider stopping stopping my like addiction of asking for arcs she says when she still has like four to read but whatever that's the only book i read from my physical tbr and i need to get to it because it's kind of overwhelming it's not too many it's like 120 now but like, Christmas is in two months, and you already know I'm getting books. So, I don't really know. But that is everything for today, and I'll see you in my next weird vlog. Bye!